So I knew I'd be making this video someday as I saw this guy slip down the rabbit hole that is anti-feminism, um, racism, and just general all-around xenophobia. Of course, masquerading itself as free speech. And, of course, this guy thinks he's edgy despite actually sharing an opinion with 98% of the fucking human population. So, of course... SJWs apparently have this censorship power that I didn't know about on YouTube. Um, I'm sorry that YouTube is a shitty system, and I totally agree that YouTube is a very shitty system. So, of course, this video was sticking up to Mr. Dapperton, and if you're wondering... Or, for Mr. Dapperton. And if you're wondering why I'm not showing the video, quite honestly, because I don't think he's worth that kind of a response. Um, so I don't have this guy blocked, although I did briefly have him blocked. Um, he has gone off the deep end. Um, he's an absolutely angry person with this liberal view of what free speech is. Hate speech is not free speech. And let me define hate speech real quick, because hate speech isn't just saying that, um, hate speech isn't just saying that you hate someone of a different ethnicity. Hate speech is saying something like you want to gas the Jews. Do you seriously think that should be allowed to be said? Like, seriously, if you think that should be allowed to be said without any kind of legal ramifications, without any kind of sanctions being put on by the greater community, such as getting the piss beaten out of you, well then, you're a fucking liberal, to be honest. Um, no, if someone says that they want to gas the Jews, I'm fucking throwing a Molotov through their window. Um, that's just the way it works. Now, I don't mean that literally, but I mean, that's the kind of sentiment I'm gonna have. I'm gonna... This... The person's subhuman in my mind when it comes to shit like this. Um, yeah, some guy with an 88 tattoo is talking about how we need to gas all the Jews and bur and um, lynch all the blacks. That's a threat of violence. Um, it may not be a direct threat of violence, but it is a threat of violence. It is an advocacy for violence. And it's not even an advocacy for defensive violence. It's an advocacy for violence against a smaller group of people, against a group of people that is worse off in society, that has historically been persecuted. And, of course, I don't know what the fuck Mr. Dapperton's video about. Oh, I'm sorry, Anarchy Ball. Or, no, Mr. Or, no, fuck. Um, you guys may know him as Anarchy Ball, but, yeah, Mr. Dapperton, as he's now called himself because he didn't have enough of a reputation as an elitist prick, apparently. Um, yeah, so I don't know what his fucking video was about, the one that got flagged, but if it got flagged, I highly doubt that it was, a uh, quote, SJW Crusade. Those don't fucking happen. They really don't. They're never enough. The Flame Wars, they've, at this point, they've stopped doing, like, these SJW Flame Wars no longer exist because every time that they happen, the anti-feminists do the same shit, and they have bigger audiences, so they have much more um, power for what Ancom would call censorship. Although, on the anti-feminist side, it usually is censorship because there's nothing to actually break community guidelines. Um, it's not my fault that hate speech is not allowed in community guidelines. And the thing is, is that you can contest it. Like, if you really think that you are unfairly flagged, I'm sorry, but YouTube has a big system that they have to manage. So I'm sorry that if you get flagged, they might, that they kind of prioritize these things. But seriously, like, he should he should have just fucking contested it and move on. 
and maybe actually done a substantive video on why his video wasn't hate speech. Um, because just because you say something is parody at the beginning doesn't mean that it is.